guys, and welcome to another edition of Market Marauders. Beating the market, one trade at a time. First things first, if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button down below, like, comment, share. Today I'll be diving into uh, some 2020 recession-proof stocks. So, as you guys have noticed, uh, in the news there's been a lot of uh, uncertainty about the market, um, about it going down, uh, all given around, you know, uh, the sickness going around uh, called the coronavirus or CV. I'm just going to call it CV for short. Uh, so, you know, the Dow has been down. S&P 500 has been down. Everything market-wise has been down. Uh, so this is the 2020 uh, re recession-proof stocks. These are my personal picks. Um, I'm not a professional advisor, but, you know, I think these – you know, are good things to invest in in times like this. Um, now, let's dive into it. So, all of my picks are based off of things that are called dividend aristocrats. So, if we go to Molly Fool, which I'm on now, Molly Fool is a good website, you know, that explains a lot of things uh, for investors. Uh, if you're new to investing, you know, they have a lot of information uh, explaining what type of what type of, you know, terms are out there that people may not know of, uh, or if you're new to investing, you may not know. So for you who are very new to investing, uh, this is all going to be based around dividends. So dividends are basically, uh, amounts of money that a company pays, uh, its shareholders for owning the stock. So you purchase the stock, um, if the di if the company gives dividends, then you are able to get those dividends, which means every every quarter or every month you'll get those dividends. So a quarter would be every three months, uh, and there's some uh, companies like real estate uh, companies, some real estate companies, and some other companies that aren't real estate that give their dividends each month. So essentially, each month or every three months, you'll be getting a uh, payment from this company for just owning the share, and that's per share. So let's say you own a company that's five dollars and they give a 10 cent dividend every quarter, that means every three months you'll be getting 10 cents times the amount of shares that you have so if you own two shares uh for ten dollars then that means you'll get 20 cents if 10 cents is the dividend that they'll give so every three months you'll get 20 cents and so forth and so on so my picks are based on what uh we call in the investment community uh dividend aristocrats so a dividend aristocrat um here's a definition a dividend aristocrat is a company in the S&P 500 that has paid and increased its base dividend every year for at least 25 consecutive years. S&P Dow Jones Indices, which owns the S&P 500 index, reviews the list of qualifying companies every year and updates the list of companies that carry dividend aristocrat status. Their impressive track record and dividend growth make dividend aristocrats some of the most attractive dividend stocks to own. Now, your question would be, why do I choose dividend uh, stocks and why am I choosing dividend aristocrats as my recession-proof stocks? That is for the fact that they have a 25-year track record of increasing their dividend, which means they know how to manage risk. So, Something like, you know, a global crisis isn't going to sway this company because they've been increasing their dividend for 25 years. And in order for a company to do that, it needs to have a really good financial track record. So these companies are picked because they have a really good financial track record. And with that financial track record, I think that they can withstand uh, any downplay that the market will have. Now, this is just for our dividend growth. So the growth of the actual stock itself may not increase, but I think, you know, you getting paid money uh, during the recession or if there is a recession uh, in 2020 is, you know, always a good thing because that's income coming into you. So I think it's always good to have a lot of dividend stocks in your uh, repertoire, in your portfolio um, when it comes to, you know, prepping for any recession that's uh, coming your way. So let's go into my first one. Uh, first one is 3M. Uh, if we look at 3M, they're currently at 150 today, uh, 150.16. And 
Uh, we can go to like a one month. They're one month. They're uh, down pretty much. Um, but they've been giving a dividend uh, for quite a long time. Uh, as you can see from the earlier, they're part of a dividend aristocrats. And dividend aristocrats have a track record of 25 years plus um, in dividend growth. So, you know, you're going to be still getting those dividends even during, even though the market is going down. Uh, you'll still be getting paid, which is always a great thing. So going into their dividends, uh, this is some of their dividend history. So we can see in May, they gave a cash dividend of 144 in, uh On the 15th, they gave a cash dividend of 144 uh, Then they gave another one in November uh, of 144 and then they just recently gave another one uh, on the 13th of 147. So if we can see, their dividend has increased from 175, I mean from 117 to 136 to 144 to 147, and it just keeps increasing. So it increases every year. So that's, you know, the longer you hold it, the more money in turn you're going to make. Um, and... Let's jump into another reason why I chose them. Now, if you don't know 3M, uh, they make a lot of things, but one of the large things they make uh, that, you know, I think is recession-proof is masks. They make tons and tons and tons of masks. So, if you guys know, masks are going at, like, selling like hotcakes because of, you know, the current global crisis. So, companies that make masks... Uh, you know, those companies are going to be doing really well. Uh, and they also have a large personal and healthcare uh, product line. So if we go, they have filters, bandages, um, you know, band-aids. Uh, there's tons of stuff that this company makes. Uh, this is just on personal health care. So, you know, waterproof, dressing, uh, armband, elbow straps, uh, I mean, the list goes on, but, you know, the fact that they make so many masks, um, and that, you know, people are probably buying these in bulk, just let you know that this company is probably going to be, uh, profitable during this time, because that is one of the main things that people are going to be buying are masks, um, and, you know, they're, everybody's trying to protect themselves, uh, you know, in different situations. So a company that makes this, I think, will be profitable on top of the fact that they're increasing their dividend. Um, it's just, you know, uh, double win uh, when it comes to investing in this company. So going to another company uh, that I think uh, would be good for your recession proofing uh, stocks for 2020, uh, that one is... Clorox company. So their current value is 168.70 um, and this is on the 27th and this is when the market's closed. So bear in mind that whenever you're watching this video that the market has previously opened and these prices will be different. So depending on when you watch this video the prices are not going to be the same uh, as when you watch this, so just bear that in mind. The price may be up or it may be down lower based on when this video, uh, when you see this video. So, Clorox is another one, uh, one of the dividend aristocrats, which means that they've been uh, increasing their dividend for the past 25 years, um, which, you know, to me, lets me know that they are recession proof. Uh, they are definitely a company. That makes items that people use. Uh, they make household and personal care items. And items that I think are very instrumental when it comes to uh, the current global crisis. So if we go to Clorox and we look at their dividend history. We can see they have a quarterly dividend. And they have been increasing their dividend. So their dividend um, in 2017 was $0.84. Cents. In 2018 it went to $0.96. Cents. In 2019 uh it's at a dollar six cent, and it's at a dollar six cent on this 2020 um, date. But I think you know it's going to increase um, because you know it didn't have that many on here. It was only three, uh, but I think you know 
it's subject to increase. Now, the interval on when they increase, you know, it's up to the company. It's not like a set time uh, that I know of. But they always announce when they make an increase. So, you know, if we look at it from 2015 to 2020, it's definitely increased a lot from its 70, 74 cents uh, a quarter to a dollar six a quarter. So, you know, that's always good. And this will be, you know, one that you all can hold and still be getting paid for uh, while while holding it. And uh, the Clorox company, they make like a like bleach and, you know, a lot of things like that. So I think they definitely are recession proof. Uh, bleach is going to be a big thing when it comes to disinfecting uh, a lot of different areas like airports and, you know, office spaces, uh, buses, planes. Uh, so I definitely expect uh, their stock. Uh, price to continue to grow as well as their dividend so that's why I picked them as one of the ones uh, to look forward to to holding so you're getting money and they make a product that's going to be increasing the actual revenue of the company so another win-win stock uh, that is also a dividend aristocrat so going to another one that I picked uh, it's Colgate Palm Palmolive Company so if we go to Colgate Palmolive Company, uh, they're currently at 70.15. This is on the 27th, 2020. Uh, so it's February 27th, 2020. Um, and they're down a little bit, but, you know, I believe they definitely make products uh, that people use. So, you know, they have a dividend uh, as well. Um, and, you know, you're just getting money when it comes in and... They're going to be increasing as well because of the products that they make. Now, if we dive into some of the products that they make, uh, we can see they have uh, Clorox is one of the things they have as well. Um, Pine saw, uh, filters, water filters, charcoal. You know, these are like household, I household items that people use uh, all the time. And I think, you know, I could see them uh, increasing as time goes on because a lot of people use these products and a lot of people want to use like disinfected uh, type products, uh, garbage bags, uh, just a lot of household items uh, that people use all the time. And I think, you know, the demand for that is going to be going up, especially with, you know, uh, other countries, people staying uh at home, not really going to work that much, uh, which means household items in general, I think will go up in value. So going to the last one that I have on here, um, this one is Kimberly Clark Corporation. Uh, today on the 27th, they're currently at 134.01. Uh, they've gone down slightly, but I mean, the whole market was down. So I think they have a product that, you know, people use people use all the time they also have a dividend that they pay out and they are part of their uh, dividend aristocrats so going to here we can see their dividend had increased so back in 2016 it was 92 cents and now in 2020 it's a dollar seven so it's increased quite a bit um, since you know that time and it seems to be keep it seems to keep increasing. So that's always a good thing to see the dividend increasing. So that's more money coming to you as a shareholder uh, per share. And like I said earlier, this is per share. So you'll get a dollar seven cents every quarter per share uh, that you own. So let's say you own two shares. Uh, that's two dollars. Three shares, three dollars, and so forth, and so on. So why I chose them is also because of products that they make um, so this is like toilet paper um, diapers they also make some sort of mask they make feminine hygiene products wet wipes uh, diapers all sorts of things that you know people use all the time and I think are going to be used because in this medical uh, you know facilities they have lots of paper towels they have toilet paper uh, seeing a lot of people coming in and out 
Um, I think these things are definitely going to increase, uh, especially as, you know, sickness grows. People are going to need toilet paper. People are going to need tissues. Um, people are going to need masks. Um, these are just all personal hygiene products. So the fact that this is a dividend aristocrat means that the dividend is going to keep increasing. And with all of these stocks that are picked on here for 3M, Clorox, um, Colgate Palmolive, Palmolive uh, and Kimberly Clark, I think they're all pretty good stocks when it comes to um, increasing. And you hold them uh, during times like this because, you know, you're getting paid that money. So that money that you have, uh, you're getting paid per those shares. And then you can reinvest that money to get more shares of different companies. So even though the stock price uh, of the market may go down, these dividends are still coming into you. So that means you can buy more and more stocks um, as that as the the dividends come to you. So I think it's a win win. Um, that's my 2020 recession proof stock list. Um, there are more uh, stocks out there. Uh, tell me if you guys like this video. Um, if so, drop a comment down below. I'll try to make a part two of this if you guys uh, would like it. And just tell me what guys, what uh, stocks you guys are looking at for your 2020 recession proofing uh, portfolio. And let me know. Drop a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.